Hollywood Lakes, a walk in history, architectural styles in Hollywood Lakes. One of the most desirable neighborhoods in Hollywood is historic Hollywood Lakes. In our previous video, we invited you to join us as we walked around Hollywood's oldest neighborhood, Hollywood Lakes. If you missed it, I will include a link in the description below. In this video, we invite you to explore the beautiful historic homes and get acquainted to the various architectural styles in historic Hollywood Lakes, Florida. Let's go! If you're new to this channel, welcome and join us as we talk about real estate and lifestyle in Southeast Florida. I'm Kate Smith, a local Hollywood real estate agent with Kate Smith Group, Frost and Bentley Realtors. Historically, the most grandiose homes graced the main boulevard entering town. Joseph Wesley Young's own house is located at Hollywood Boulevard. Built in 1925, this impressive home was placed in the National Register of Historic Places on August 10, 1989. There are many architectural styles in Hollywood Lakes. We will review nine of the most common ones, starting with Mediterranean Revival style. Mediterranean Revival style is the predominant style of historic homes in Hollywood Lakes neighborhood. This style, known for its elaborate detailing, reflects the architectural influences of the Mediterranean coast. Stucco walls, red tile roofs, limestone, terracotta and clay style are the materials most frequently used, along with wrought iron railings, wood brackets and balconies. Doors and windows are highlighted with spiral columns, stone carvings or tile. Mission or Spanish colonial style is also widely found in early houses in Hollywood. It was inspired by early mission churches in California, but still uses some Mediterranean revival influences. Flat roofs, stucco exteriors, arched doorways or windows are common features. Art Deco or Art Modern? What is the main difference between both? Art Modern is a horizontal design, emphasizing movement and sleekness. Art Deco emphasizes verticality and stylized geometric ornamentation. If Art Deco has its roots in France, Art Modern is decidedly American, dated from the early 1930s and lasting until 1940s. The earlier style, Art Deco, was more common in public and commercial buildings in the 1920s and early 1930s. This style is extremely rare in domestic architecture in America, but many Deco interiors were designed and built in American houses and apartments. However, it was more frequently used in the design of apartment buildings. The Miami Beach Art Deco District and New York City's Grand Concourse feature large concentrations of this style. Later, in the 1930s, Art Modern or Streamline Modern became the prevalent style of commercial, public and domestic architecture and many more examples survive in every American city and town. Here are two exceptionally fine examples that grace the cityscape of Hollywood. It is a delightful combination of Art Deco and modern styling, as it provides for both vertical and horizontal emphasis. Traditional. This style of architecture was popular in the United States from 1930s through the 1950s, featuring low-pitched roofs, decorative shutters, front-facing gables, thick chimneys, a simplified facade of brick and stone, and a porch roof support. The style is either one or two-story. The simplest designed houses are called minimal. 
Bermuda. The Bermuda style is a tropical adaptation of the new classic or Georgian style found on the British colony of Bermuda. Deeply pitched roofs, shingled or tiled, are either hipped or gabled and provide virtually no overhang. Windows stand flush to exterior walls. Overhead arches, semicircular fan lights and wooden shutters are found on the front entrances. The entrance is frequently enhanced by a curved banister known as welcoming arms. Our next style is masonry vernacular. Due to brick scarcity, builders use clay tile, rolitic limestone and concrete blocks. The masonry vernacular houses are symmetrical with gabled or hipped roofs featuring composition shingles. Either double hung or casement windows are used. Ornamentation is usually limited to cast stone columns and piers, dormer windows and rafter eave brackets. Wood frame vernacular builders represent typical methods of construction used by pioneers in South Florida. It does not adhere to any academic style. It uses the builder's experience and the available local materials to create a useful and practical building. These structures are usually rectilinear in form and are noted for stark simplicity. High-pitched roofs are generally pre-1920s, while the lower-pitched roofs are post-1920s. The Hollywood Women's Club is a fine example of frame vernacular. Prairie style. The Prairie style house is largely credited to Frank Lloyd Wright, one of America's most innovative and famous architects. Wright's goal in designing this radical new form of architecture was to create organic architecture, an integration of structural and aesthetic beauty and above all, sensitivity to human life and nature. One-story projections with a symmetrical front facade and entryway, strong horizontal lines, oversized eaves which appear to spread out and hug the ground, define the prairie style. The open interiors, rows of small windows and art glass, coupled with a low pitch roof, create a warm, informal and inviting space that looked right at home on the wide open spaces of the prairie. These homes blended in with and were intimately connected to the landscape. Mid-century modern it is only natural to follow the prairie style with the mid-century modern. Though inspired by the unprecedented designs of Frank Lloyd Wright and the avant-garde approach of Bauhaus artists, mid-century modern puts a novel spill on architecture. It denotes a style of design that was popularized from the 1930s through the 1960s. Originating in Europe, this style combines contemporary, seemingly futuristic aesthetic with focus on functionality. Most mid-century modern homes showcase three predominant characteristics. A clean, minimalist concept, an emphasis on bringing the outdoors in, and angular structures. It's one of the key characteristics of the mid-century modern house is a relationship with nature, this style often incorporates large windows, open floor plans, providing scenic views and lots of light, and sliding glass doors entice the residents to go outside and explore their surroundings. And finally, to showcase their unmistakably modernist approach to everyday architecture, Mid-century modern architects employ geometric forms and asymmetrical compositions in their design. As promised, in our tour of old Hollywood, Hollywood Lakes, we highlighted some of the most commonly seen architectural styles. As you see, there is practically a home matching any taste and lifestyle. Find yours Visit realtorkatesmith.com, I will include the link in the description below.
Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and share the love. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Kate Smith, Hollywood, Florida.